Hello and welcome to the 16 stellar strength exercise workout. It's a mouthful and we're going to be doing a lot, so get ready to have some fun. Now get your equipment ready and then I'm going to talk you through how this workout is going to go. You will want a set of moderately light weights, a set of moderately heavy weights, an exercise mat, and if you have a bench, go ahead and grab that as well. March it out and I'm going to explain a little bit more about how this workout goes. So 16 stellar strength exercises today, broken up into four sets. So each set has four different exercises in it. By the time you do any one of those sets, you will have worked every major muscle group in the body. So you can choose to do just one set, two sets, three sets, four sets, however you want to work out on that particular day. Let's sidestep. Now, if you do just choose to do one set, I recommend running through those four exercises three or four times. If you choose to do two, maybe go through them a couple of times. If you want to do all four sets, I'm thinking once through will be enough. Let's reach across. It is your workout though. You can do as many or as few as you like. The tempo of all these movements will also be up to you. Sometimes I'll be going on the beat of the music today, sometimes not. So I just want you to go at your own pace as well. Four more, four, three, heel digs forward. For this workout, I'm going to list the time that each set starts in the description of the video. That way, if you want to go right to set two or three or four, you'll know where to go. It'll save you a little bit of time. Four more here. Four, three, two, march it out. Big breath in, exhale out once more. That was a quick warm up. So you're always welcome to rewind, do it again, or knowing ahead of time that this this routine has a short warm-up. You're welcome to do something on your own to get warm and ready beforehand. But I'm ready to get right to the workout. Set one is coming, all right? Um, the first exercise we do will be reverse lunge with overhead press. I like to go a little heavier with that. Today I'm using a set of 10s and a set of 8s just to give you an idea of kind of how to gauge what you should use. But everyone's different, so you pick up what works for you. A couple more seconds to rest and get excited. And we're off. Reverse lunge right leg with a curl press. Switch sides, other leg. Curl, press. So there's a lot going on with this one. We're lunging, we're doing bicep curls, we're doing overhead press. So really focus in on the overhead press. Weights are slightly forward. If you can, big step back on the reverse lunges. Now I'll be doing anywhere between eight and 20 repetitions of the exercises today. One more of these, not 20 of these, thank goodness. All right, next up, I'm staying with heavy. Deadlifts with wide rows. So soften your knees, back is long, hinge forward, row, lower, rise up. Nice and smooth. Form is always critical when we do deadlifts. All right, so keep your spine long. Brace through your abdominal muscles. How are the weights that you've got right now? Heavy enough for a challenge? Light enough to do a few more repetitions? I hope so. We have two more to go. Hinge, row, lower and rise. Last one. Awesome job. Set one weight down. Wood choppers are next. I'm gonna stay with one heavy. Couple ways to do wood choppers, and I'll show both, both versions to you. Starting with forward lunges, right foot, and we'll stay on the right side. So we lunge and chop across. Chopping strong. Feel your core working. Four more with this option, and then I'll show you a second way you can do it. It will be a side lunge. So you lunge side and chop. So you can choose to stay with one version the whole time or the other, or alternate like I did. Do one set and then the other. 
All right, it's the left leg's turn, forward lunge, chop. Be really aggressive with this one. Working through your arms, your core, your legs. Two more with a forward lunge. Now side lunge and chop. Chop it. I like both versions. It would be hard to just choose one. But your body may very well just like one more than the other. Two more to the side. And then we're done with wood choppers. Last exercise in set one. You'll want your mat out. We're gonna be doing push up into a side plank one direction, push up into side plank the other. So come out to plank position. Here we go, push up slow, down, press up. Open one direction, hold for a second, reset. Push up slow, rise up, open the other way, reset. We got a few more, digging down. We know that push-ups and planks work a ton of muscles. So of course we're gonna see push-ups today. Side plank the other way. I believe that's four. I'm working toward eight. So we're over halfway there. Can you do these on the knees? Absolutely. Both the push-up and the side plank. Two more to go. Good control. Keep that straight line throughout the body. Last one. We've got this. No problem. Aren't you glad we didn't do 20 of this? I am. All right. Back it up. You're on your feet again. Set one, complete. Moving on to set two. I think I'm going to use the heavy weights again. It will be curtsy lunges with bicep curls. We're gonna start by alternating our curtsy lunges. Couple more seconds to rest. Here we go, right leg back. Left leg back. So now we're doing one leg, then the other. Full range of motion here with your bicep curls. Make your arms work. Now just your right leg will curtsy. Take it back, tap side. It's a little more challenging when you do one side repeatedly. Four more. I should have picked up the lighter set of weights. Two more. We're switching sides, but I'm gonna fight for it. Ah, uh, we did eight alternating. Eight on the right side, eight on the left. We're down to three more. Two more. Last one. Woo. Set, well actually it's nothing you can do with one or two weights. I prefer one heavy, or you can do two lighter. It will be plies with overhead tricep extension. I find if I use two weights, it pulls my hair out. I don't know why. So, pick your weight, come to a wide stance, turned out from your hips. Get ready. Weight overhead, plie, press up, plie, press up. So plies are great at targeting inner thighs. And of course, these extensions work the back of the arms, the triceps. Down and up four more times, and I'm gonna show you a second way you can do this. Arms will stay the same, but I'm gonna hold the plie. So legs are still working. They're just not moving down and up. That can be a little more knee friendly for some people. Four more. Three, last two, and one. So that was a good balance. The first exercise we did that worked on biceps and outer thighs, that one worked on inner thighs and triceps. All right, next exercise. I'm gonna use my cheat sheet so I get it right today. Side lunge with an upright row. Looks like this. Hinge to your foot, pull up to a row. Keep your back long. Try to get as close to your foot as you safely can. There are two ways to do this exercise as well. Let's do four more here before I show you the other version. Right now we're just doing one row. Two more here. I actually like the version that's coming up a little bit better because we add a second row at the bottom. This is what it looks like. Lunge, row, rise up, and pull. So you get a little more bang for your buck. 
with that second row at the bottom. And again, let's do four more. That way we're nice and even. We did eight of each option. You can do 16 of one or 16 of the other. Your choice. One more on this side. We'll take a little break before we do side two. Do you notice your heart rate is up there? You're breathing a little faster? That's the cardio benefit. Let's get going. Side lunge, just that one upright row. So there's really no actual cardio exercise in this workout, but your heart rate gets up there because we're doing all these multi-muscle exercises that are big and dynamic. So you get that cardio benefit. Good, I think there's just one more. <laughs> and we're adding on. So lunge, row at the bottom, rise up. And again, keep the core strong. Notice how your lower body, your upper body, and your core all working through this set. Good job. We have two more. Feeling all those muscles. Last one. Perfect. All right, no weights necessary for this next one. It's a walk out to a plank, down on one forearm, down on the other, up, up, walk back, two squats. Are you ready? Standing to the back of your mat, walk it out, four, three, two, down, down, up, up, down one forearm, the other, hand, hand, back it up, four, three, two, two squats, and we don't come all the way up. Good. Take it out. Four, three, two, down, down, up, up. Core is strong. Don't let your back sag. Back it up. Four, three, two, two squats. That's for the legs. Walk it out. Four, three, two, down, down, up, up. Back it up. Two squats. Now, to be really Balance. You can alternate which hand walks out first, which arm comes down first. I wasn't thinking about it too much, but you're welcome to be real precise about that. Let's do two more. I think that will bring us to eight. Not doing 20 of these. Although it's your workout, you can if you want. If you do 20, You've got your whole body worked out very thoroughly. One more time, take it out. Four, three, two, down, down, up, up. Back it up. Are you sad it's almost over? I'm not. <laughs> Last one. I like that one, but I don't like to do a ton of them. Ah, so that was set two. Hopefully you love that one. Set three coming up. You will maybe want to get your lighter weights. We're starting with squat to overhead press. What exercise I have still not fallen in love with. Let's just say that. All right, weights by your shoulders. This will probably be off the beat of the music. Squat, overhead press. As with most overhead presses, weights are slightly forward. Now this, this one, I'm flowing right from the squat to the overhead press. You can also do your squat, then the press. So it's broken up a little bit more. Or you get that momentum flowing better when you flow right into it. As much as I hate these, we'll do four more seconds. Three, two, and rest. Uh, all right, I'm going with heavier weights for the next one. Let me double check. Yes, reverse lunge tick tocks, which includes a row. So back is pretty strong. That's why I like to use heavier weights. I'm going to angle a little so you can see better. Step back with your right leg, hinge forward, one narrow row, then lift your back leg up, set it down, row, lift. So you see why it's called tick-tock, right? You're doing upper body, then lower body. Keep your spine nice and long. 
And we drive those elbows up. We have two more. Row, lift. One more this side. Of course, we've got to do side two. Rise up. Ah, all right. Other way. Big step back with your left. Hinge forward. Start with your row. Then your lift. You got it. Row. Lift. So feel in the back. Feel in the glutes. My goodness. Again. Pull. Lift. Pull. Two more. Nice and strong. Good. Last one of these. Rise all the way up. Well done. Set one weight aside. You can use one heavier weight or one lighter weight for a move that I learned as toss the hay. What it really is, is a side lunge. You take a couple steps and then you toss the hay to the other side. But don't actually toss your weight. Keep hold of it. All right? So to the right, hinge, set the weight to the side. So you're pushing away. Taking a couple steps before you do. When you hinge toward the opposite foot, spine is long, abdominals braced. Let's do two more to the right. We want to save a little energy for side two. All right, little break, little break. Heart's up there, yeah? That cardio benefit. All right, same thing. We'll head to the left foot. So hinge, couple steps, weight to the side. You can absolutely do this slower. I wouldn't go faster though. You want to keep good control. I believe we're halfway through this side. When I get to talking, I don't count as well. I think there are two more though. Good, last one. Awesome. Now when you get to know this workout better, you can just write down the exercises and do as many repetitions as you want. All right, this is where we're gonna use the bench. If you do not have a bench, you can do this on the floor just fine. The bench just gives us a better range of motion. I'm gonna use my two heavy weights. We'll be doing bench presses with some leg extensions. So really hitting the chest, the shoulders and the core. So get into position on your back, either on your bench or on the floor. Then bring your legs to reverse tabletop position. So bent at hips, bent at your knees. Elbows out to the sides. I'm gonna press up, extend one leg away, pull it back in, then switch legs. So you see upper and lower body working here. Core is engaged because of the placement of our legs. Good. So we're not doing any push-ups or planks in this set. So we want to make sure we hit the chest, the shoulders, and the core another way. So this is a great option. Good. Keep it going. Smooth, controlled movements. Four more on the menu. But three more. This is another one you don't want to rush through. You can do it a little faster maybe, but don't go too crazy. That's our last one. Go ahead and come on up. Ah, give your hands a little break. We completed step three. All right, up on your feet. Step four is next. Four more awesome exercises. This next one uses just one weight. Um, I'm going to think I'm going to go heavier. Give it a try, see what you think, and you can switch out your weight if you need to. Now you're going to hold that one weight with your right hand, top it with your left, widen your stance a little bit, soft bend in your knees. One circle around, then we step back on a diagonal to a squat. Here we go. Circle it around, step back, squat. Same direction, same leg squats. Again, circle around. Now here's a little tip. If your feet are wider here, it's a little easier for your core. If they're more narrow, it's a little more challenge. So you decide where to set your foot. 
Let's do this a couple more times, side one. Big circle if you can. All right, little break. Change the grip, holding onto it now with your left hand, topping it with your right. Circle around, the other direction. Step back, left foot. Circle. I'm gonna slow this down. I think video the music was a little quick. I wanna get full range of motion and have good control. Nice job. If you're loving this one, it's kind of different. Let's do two more. Good, last one. Beautiful. All right, two weights for the next one, and I'm gonna go a little lighter. For running man, strength style. Sometimes we do running man for cardio. This one is more designed for strength. Step back with your right foot, lunge position. So we will be hinging one arm bicep curl, one does a tricep kickback, and it just kind of flows naturally. Here we go. And I'm going off the beat of the music for this one as well. If I was doing cardio with no weights, then I would stay on the beat. But with weights, it's a little slower, a little more controlled. So here we're focusing a lot on the arms, but the lower body is working too as we come in and out of that lunge position. Good, four more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, side two. Quick recovery. Set your left leg back, and we're off. Lunge, curl with a kickback. Now the curl pretty much kind of works on its own. I know I have to focus a little bit more on the tricep kickback, extending the arm behind me and not cheating it. I guess my triceps just like to be lazy. I don't know. Hang in there, we got a few more seconds. Getting so strong. Four more. Three, two, and Ah, step forward. All right. Next up, we've got two on the floor. So heavier or lighter, work your way to a plank position. We're going to be starting with renegade rows, which is a plank and a row together. So you're in solid plank position. Get ready to row. Lift up one, lift up the other. Feet might be a little slightly wider than hip distance apart. Especially if you're new to this exercise, that helps you to stabilize a little bit better so you're not rocking side to side when you lift one arm. As you get better with this movement, you can start to bring your legs a little closer. Racing through your core, working back, working abdominals, working shoulders. My goodness. Four more, four. Three, in two, we go right to the next move. From plank, jump forward, overhead press, reset. Jump back, jump in, overhead press. What the heck is this? Ha, huh. I call it a burpee, overhead press. It's not a proper burpee, but close enough. Oh my goodness. So if your heart wasn't pumping before, it should start to pump a little faster here. Oh, yeah, another one of those whole body exercises. I think two more will do. You can even do this with no weight as you're learning it. Ah, well done. Well done. Weight to side. Ah, so just. Gentle movement here as we lower our heart rate. What do you think of those 16 strength moves? Were they indeed stellar? I think so. My body feels completely worked out head to toe. So I hope you felt good and challenged as well. Inhale up. Exhale up. Again. Good. 
good. Toe taps forward. Tap, tap. We'll just ease out of that for a couple more seconds and then do some standing stretches. Four more toe taps. Four, three, two. Take your right foot forward. Leg is straight, spine is straight as you hinge. Feeling a nice stretch in the hamstrings. Good, step in, roll up. Same leg, now we'll stretch the quadriceps. So lift your heel behind you. Grab a hold of it if you can and pull the heel toward the glute. Feel that nice front of the thigh stretch. Same leg, figure four. So sweep the leg across to the thigh, sink your hips back. You're welcome to go to a wall and have a chair to help you balance. You can really just enjoy these stretches. Good, uncross, other side. Heel forward, hinge. Oh, we work those hamstrings very thoroughly today. It's a good idea to stretch them out. Foot in, round up. Quadricep stretch, lift the foot behind you, grab a hold, stretch, stretch. We can check balance off the list for this workout too, here at the end. Then release, figure four, leg across the thigh, sink the hips back. Oh my goodness, that one's tight. Ooh, glad I'm doing this stretch today. Good, uncross, set down. Reach over to your right side. This is for the obliques. Reach over to the other side. Good. Come to center. One arm across and stretch out the shoulder. Oh, goodness gracious. Very efficient workout. No matter if you do one set, two set, three sets, or all four, you're going to get your total body in a short amount of time. Release. Big breath in and up. Exhale. Reach around behind you, interlace your fingers, lift your chest and chin. We can finish the, with this stretch whether we're seated or on our feet. Good, and release. Well done. Hope you enjoyed that workout, and I hope to see you again very soon.